In this demonstration, we're going to show how we can import load information from some of the common loads programs in our industry right into HVAC solution software. We're going to start off by going to the File tab and moving down to the Import. There you can see we can import a Rating Works file, a Take a Load file, a CHVAC solution file from Elite Software, a GBXML file would be one from Revit, then by the bottom there would be the Train 700. I'm going to click on that and go to my desktop and there's a file that was created using the Train Tray 700. When you're using their software there's an option to save a file as an HVAC solution file and then it saves it in this format, this XML document. I can now double left click on that and it brings you right into our HVAC solution wizard. Now once in our wizard all you need to do is answer some questions and we're going to build the air handlers, airflow diagrams, as well as the hydronic heating and cooling, and steam schematics as well. The detail level, we're going to select space. That allows us to show every space from the loads data right on the schematic. We have the name there from the loads program at the top and we want a heating and cooling system, so I'm going to leave that selected. Here I'm going to select the terminal box and come down and there I have a terminal unit single duct and I would like that. And then it allows me to come in and decide what I want for my terminal unit. I want hydronic heating for reheat. Here we can select the type of fans we want and draw our blow through. It's selected draw through because that was what was input in the train file. I'm going to come down here, leave it Twin City, and then come down and select a mixed flow fan. For my relief return air, I'm going to leave that selected. That's going to put the fan right in the air handler. I'll come down and put a quantity of two fans in there, and I'll even select those to mixed flow fans as well. Here we have checked a pre filter, some sound traps, and I'll just do a supply one there. And then here, what kind do you want your heating coils to be? I want a hydronic heating coil. You see there's other options there as well. And then a hydronic cooling coil. Now, in those from the loads program from train, there were two terminal zones. And next you're going to see the number of spaces. Now this is the data that was brought right in our program from the train file. The sensible loss was 628,477. The temperature is there for heating and cooling. And then the supply air flow that was in train file as well. Down at the bottom, you can see the area and volume from the file again. Ventilation was defined in the train trace as 8,700, so that's brought in. No exhaust was in there, so that's zero. Next space there, zone two of two. There's the data for that space, different sensible loss, different CFMs, different uh, ventilation, no exhaust once again. Now we're system two of two. Now in the interest of time, I'm just going to check this box down at the bottom. That's going to build systems two, three, and four identical. Go with the terminal unit on those as well, the reheat, hydronic. Let's mix it up. We'll go with a blow-through fan here on the supply, just so we can see a little bit different air handler. And we'll uncheck this so there's no return relief fans in the air handler. Pre-filter. We'll throw a final filter in here as well. And we'll take off the sound trap. Just doing a little mix, a little different unit here. We'll go with the heating and cooling hydronic. There's two zones in these, and there's zones. Then here's the data. You see a little bit different once again. There's the ventilation, no exhaust. I'm just going to kind of move through this fast. It's just once again all that data. Now it's brought us to the point in our wizard where it just asks us some questions. Hey, for your air handler, would you like two way valves or three way or some pumps? And do you want those valves on the coil inlet or outlet? So just an array of choices we have there for you. Now we're at our hydronic generation wizard where we can build boilers and and generation systems as far as cooling. I'm just going to go with the boiler and air cooled chiller. One boiler, one air cooled chiller. 
We'll go with the heating primary secondary for boiler and a manifold for cooling. Here's the pump selections and then our expansion tank and air separator. As soon as I hit finish here, you're going to notice there on my diagram all the systems have been created. I'm going to zoom in here so we can look at the air handlers. You can see here I had two return relief fans and one supply, a sound trap, just as I selected on the whistle. I built these three identical. If you recall, I took out the return relief fans, and here I put in a blow through fan instead of a draw through as indicated up above. Then down below is each airflow wizard, how the fans relate to the space and to louvers and dampers. Remember, we're going to size all this equipment and select equipment. So we need to know all that data in all the different components, louvers, dampers, spaces, so we can do selection of all this product. There's airflow diagrams there. And then over here to the right would be the hydronic uh, cooling generation system and the heating. Now you can see these are the heating coils and here's the reheat coils. Now whatever the load, load program showed as far as heat loss, how much we needed, that's the number that better be here on my heating load. And then down here below on the cooling load, whatever the load said, it should have said close to 1,190 tons for my loads program. That's how I can check to see if, in fact, uh, all the data is correct here. Obviously, I can draw a box across, right click on the mouse, and then come in and start looking at diameters of pipes, flow, temperatures, and start looking at the whole system. Anyway, that is the feature on how to import a train trace load file into HVAC solution, build your air handlers, airflow diagrams, hydronic, hot and chilled water systems, then look at that data, look at that system, start to select the equipment, create schedules, and uh, then obviously put that uh, information into your AutoCAD or Revit documents as part of the construction documents. This concludes our demonstration. Thank you.